as we've been saying over the last couple of months, this Sunday marks the 200th birthday of Maine's statehood. There is a long history to celebrate. Two centuries of Maine growing and changing. And there's a lot of that history in one of Maine's older towns. Here's New Center Maine's Don Kerrigan. Years before Maine became a state, as people spread out in the new land, they came up the rivers, up the Kennebec, to start a town they named Hollowell. Hollowell really began to develop like so many communities in Maine after the American Revolution. Maine State historian Earl Shettleworth, who lives in the town, says Hollowell became the right place at the right time. Hollowell was very important in the late 18th and early 19th century economy of Maine. Like some other Maine towns and cities, Hollowell prospered in those early years of the 19th century because of location. Earl Shuttleworth says it was right on the river with water deep enough that pretty big ships could come up here, load the products from this region, and take them down river to market. The town was an important trade port. Shuttleworth says there was even an overland road stretching from Hollowell all the way west across Maine to New Hampshire. So as a result, Hollowell really began to flourish uh, by the early 19th century. Uh, and by the time of statehood, about 1820, there were about 2,000 people in Hollowell. Uh, it was felt at one point that it would uh, even begin to rival Portland. Portland, of course, was the major uh, town in Maine uh, with a population in 1820 of about 8,000. It was farming, lumber, and eventually granite that drove the economy of Hollowell. Some of the buildings from that era still stand on Water Street, still doing business after two centuries. Granite was part of that. Hollowell Granite built Maine's State House and the Brooklyn Bridge. Hollowell Granite was sent all over the country uh, to build major uh, government buildings. For a time, the ice business also became big on the Kennebec. Shuttleworth says the town even had a vibrant book publishing and printing industry. And as the 19th century moved on, manufacturing would increase and Hollowell built mills. Hollowell was much more populous, uh, say in 1900, four to 5,000 people than it is today, where it's kind of back to where it was around 1820. The 20th century saw much of that business gradually disappear. A familiar story, because in some ways, Hollowell tells the story of Maine. It's the whole arc of the 19th century, you know. When statehood comes, uh, there's this sort of new energy, and then after the Civil War, uh, the, the trend begins to, to, to shift westward, and that growth begins to curtail. Like a lot of other places, Hollowell had its down years after the mills and other old-time businesses went away. But also, like a number of other main towns and cities, it has reimagined itself for the 21st century, although still with a strong link to the past and Maine's 200 years of history. In Hollowell, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine. Now, as we report on Maine's 200th anniversary, we've been talking about the big Maine statehood celebration planned for the Augusta Armory on Sunday. However, because of concerns about the coronavirus and the social distancing we've been talking about, that is being postponed to a date yet to be determined. We will keep you posted on whenever it's scheduled.